Every case of patellar tendinopathy is going to be different. Some athletes can get better in a few days, in a few weeks, and return to sport completely pain-free. All they need to do is improve the tissue tolerance of the quads and of the calves. But some athletes can take months, they can take years, they can never get better. One of the problems with this group of people is they change loads way too fast. They will spend all the time in the weight room getting stronger with isometrics and isotonics. The quads and the calves get super strong, patellar tendon gets healthy, then they jump right back into sport. They might go from weight room, they feel amazing, then they go back into max effort jumping, a crazy high load on the patellar tendon, and it just blows up and gets painful again. It's way too much of a change in load for the patellar tendon. You have to progress slowly. Basically what you're doing if you do this is you're doing isometrics, isotonics, you're skipping stage three, energy storage and release, and you're just returning to play. The patellar tendon is just going to get painful and unhealthy again if you do that. If you look at stage one and stage two, the goal is to decrease pain, strengthen the quads, strengthen the calves, improve the health of the patellar tendon. By the time you get to stage three, the goal becomes getting all these areas to store and release energy again, getting the patellar tendon to act like a spring again, which is the highest form of load, getting the patellar tendon acting like a spring. When you lift in the weight room, it's hardly acting like a spring. It's hardly storing and releasing energy at all. So the goal of phase three becomes getting the patellar tendon to act like a spring again, like you'd see in sports. This is jumping, accelerating, decelerating, cutting. You can do all of these things at a lower intensity, at a lower volume, and progress the intensity, progress the volume over time. You need to always ask the athlete, how do you feel the next day? If they feel more pain in the patellar tendon, it was too much. If they feel less or they don't feel any increase, you can continue to progress. And you need to progress to the point of the highest patellar tendon load spring activity that they see in sport. And that is how you do phase three.